What's up? Dean from Powerhouse Miniatures. How you doing? So I'm back today with, other than the painting black armour tutorial, hopefully you've seen me upload that. I've got a new setup now, so if I zoom out you'll see. Like a black backdrop and a lazy Susan. So um, I didn't think, I kind of wanted an automated one. Didn't really think about it like a dickhead, but I think if, uh, so I can twist it around with my hand and then you'll be able to see the models like in proper detail, which is awesome. Um, in my head, obviously, complete, it's just a completely stupid idea, but I thought like, I didn't think about it turning it round. Um, and obviously the, the ones I've seen in, have been like motorised or something, so obviously they turn round beautifully, uh, like so. And I don't think uh, I was really thinking about that, basically. So I'll do it with my hand or whatever. But I've got a black backdrop, two lights with diffusers now, CFL bulbs, um, two things of 45 watt one, two of them, Lazy Susan and then a matte black backdrop. So where the things are glaring on them, I've noticed that the thing is glaring a bit of, uh, uh, you know, it's just reflecting a bit of the light. So they, they come out quite bright, but then compared to the black backdrop, it's kind of, uh, it, that's kind of absorbing a bit of the light, so I don't know. I'm still going to tweak with it, but like I said, half of these models, if I don't get a chance to paint and do the videos now, um, they go all over the world, obviously, so I never will get a chance sort of thing. So I'm still learning, stick with me, <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to do the painting tutorials on this as well, um, and use my clear perspex sheet as the palette again and then use this because the lighting's a bit better if I can get rid of the glare I'm good so that's pretty much it so I've got two pure strain gene stealer princelings from death watch overkill the gene stealer cult army and then the two gene stealer uh, familiars again from the thing that go with patriarch goes art really quick um, tabletop uh, job pretty much so it's an exactly the same thing that I did for patriarch goes art put up a video a few days ago of the zenithal highlighting technique that I use in the paints using Vallejo Midnight Blue or Imperial Blue sorry and Vallejo Magic Blue painted with the airbrush in a zenithal highlight directly from above uh, these have got Gene Stealer Purple, Zerius Purple and Druki Violet in the shades um, all together and then the blue is just shaded down with Heavy Blue from Vallejo Game Inc really cool um, and then the other ones, the familiar is painted the same. I did a couple of skulls on the bases, and then a, a, some of them are holding skulls, obviously. And then they've got the green, uh, I suppose, like a salamander's chapter head. Uh, the customer requested that I leave the bases blank so that he can fill to match him with the existing army and forces. He's using these, I believe, as an allied detachment for a Tyranid's army. So the full detachment from Death Watch Overkill, the Patriot Gozar models come in a formation for about 600 points. Uh, they've got like Infiltrate, um, Scout, and Stealth and Shroud and all sorts, pretty nasty for the points. And then the second generation Gene Stealers in particular have uh, Rending, so they're like 85 points for 12 of them or something. Which is crazy really, like they've about 6 points each but they've got 3 attacks on the charge, maybe 4 attacks. Um, with Rending, so pretty goddamn scary. I'm really really intrigued by the Death Watch overkill gene stealer cult army um, there's rumours at the minute that they're going to release some more stuff for them, some new miniatures and stuff but uh, also that basically they're going to expand on a few of the, uh, they're going to release a codex basically and expand on a few of them which is really good so I'm really looking forward to them because I remember them when I was uh, a bit younger they were one of the first armies that I was really interested in um, it was back in the 90s obviously and it took so long really for them to um, to flesh them out a little bit, it moved on and they got discontinued. But uh, I'm really glad they're bringing them back. So, like I said in previous things, so it is a, is a Corvus Corax. I'm just gonna zoom that out a little bit. Yeah, so they uh, released that when I was a kid. Before like I said the uh, Gene Stealer Club always been a bit of a favourite. So hopefully, when they flesh them out a little bit, I'll I might start collecting them for myself. So yeah, Corvus Corax on the thing. Like I said, I need like a motor or something, you know, to spin that around. I'm gonna do it with my hand, like really gently, but. I think that's really good. The backdrop looks good. I like the Lazy Susan. I can spin it around without getting my stupid banana fingers in a shot every time. Um, and then of course I can turn it around as and when. It looks really good. So yeah, hope you like that one. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I'm going to do the painting tutorials on there for now. I've uh, got some good feedback about them. A few people watching my podcast and, and uh, commenting and everything. So cheers to those people as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll be back hopefully to, uh, tomorrow now, tomorrow basically, with some more Gene Stealer Cult miniatures. I'm um, painting the two sets of hybrids and the aberrants at the minute, and then a couple of characters and we're good. I think all together, I really want to start doing a little like bat rep thing with them. Maybe a few um, 
like some of the smaller bat reps that like mini wargaming do where they do like who would win stuff like that so I can paint you know just paint the models up and do little one off battles um, with the stuff that I've got in at the time it feels efficient to do that but then also I really enjoy it so um, hopefully I'll get into that as well check out all my other YouTube videos I've got 60ish now and I'm, I'm uploading them at a fast pace for now I'm not going to keep up this pace obviously but uh, you know I'm doing at least one a day sort of thing while I've got the time so that's pretty much it. Done a load of research for my next podcast episode. I've got a real good one for you coming up. And hopefully I've got a few guests lined up that are going to come on the podcast as well, which is awesome. So, yeah, check back for them. Usually I'm going to do them um, on the weekends, release them, like try and record them over the weekend, release them on Sunday or Monday. So, as always, cheers for watching and have a good day. <laughs>